Six Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. There we are. Sid lived at number one Aristotle Street. Street. See, where's Sid? There's Sid. See, there's Sid. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Oh, that sounds like a cat I used to know. He lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one, where he might have had chicken, into number two for fish, on to number three for lamb, mince at number four, fish again at number five, see the fish? Rounding off at number six with beef and kidney stew. Since no one talked to their neighbours in Aristotle Street, no one knew what Sid was up to. They each believed the cat they fed was theirs, and theirs alone. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being Scaramouche, Sid put on swanky airs. As Bob, he had a job. He was naughty as Satan and silly as Sally, as sooty he smooched. But as Swartz, he had to act rough and tough. All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care as long as he had his six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places under his chin, on top of his head, on his neck, on his back, on his tummy, and under his armpits, and sleeping in six different beds. There we are, yes, there he is in six different beds. In fact, life in Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid until, until, until what? One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. Uh, 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 huh? <laughs> yes. See, what's that? Is that? That's a, that's a rabbit, isn't it? And there's Sid. Who's that in there? Sid. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to see the vet. Poor Sid. He was taken not once. Not twice, but six times. He went with six different people in six different ways. See, he's all off to the vet. What's that? What's that? What's that? Dog. That's a dog. The vet said Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded. But to be on the safe side, he would have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have one spoonful of medicine. He had six. See, look at this medicine, see, see, look at that. Now, one black cat does look much like any other, but nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, what? What? what's that? Yeah, on the phone. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough all living at Aristotle Street. So he rang the owners at once. And oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered that what he'd been up to, Sid's owners were furious. They see, said he had no business eating so many dinners. They said in future they would make sure he had only one dinner a day. But Sid was a six dinner a day cat so he went to live at number one Pythagoras place he also went to live at numbers two three four five and six what's that there hey. that's a teddy bear is it see there's Pythagoras 
Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived in Pythagoras' place talked to the neighbours. So right from the start, every knew, everybody knew about Sid's six dinners. And because everyone knew, nobody minded. End of story. What's that? Is that flowers? It's a baby. That's not a baby. There's the baby. There's the baby there. Babies. This is baby. There's a baby there, see? That's not the baby. What's that? Totter. Is that a cat, is it? Uh-huh. 